In our previous segment, we discussed the topic of seeking the forgiveness of others. In this segment, we will suggest some practical steps to take in the application of that exhortation taken from the material published by Freedom in Christ Ministries. Step number one, regarding people from whom you need forgiveness, clearly identify to yourself the offenses committed. Write it out, including the attitude behind the wrong or offensive actions. Step number two, Make sure that you have already forgiven them for any wrongs on their part. Step number three, think through the precise wording that you will use as you ask forgiveness. Label your action as wrong. Go into only as much detail as necessary for the offended person to understand what you are confessing. Make no defenses, alibis, or excuses. Do not project blame. Never confess for another. And your confession should lead to the direct question, will you forgive me? Step number four, seek the right place and the right time to approach the offended person. Step number five, Make your quest for forgiveness in person with family members or persons whom you can talk to face to face with the following exception. Where there has been action of an immoral nature, do not seek to deal with this alone and face to face. If incest was involved, have a minister or counselor with you in your face to face confession. Step number six, accept where no other means of communication is possible, do not write a letter. A letter can be very easily misread or misunderstood. A letter can be read by the wrong people, those having nothing to do with the offense or the confession. A letter can be kept when it should have been destroyed. Do not document your confession. And step number seven, once you sincerely seek forgiveness, you are free. Step number eight, if forgiveness is refused and there seems no hope of change on the part of the offended person, then prayerfully and humbly commit your case to the judge, God our Heavenly Father, and leave it there. Step number nine, after forgiveness, fellowship with God in worship. In the matter and process of seeking forgiveness from others whom we have offended, we should be governed by the scripture found in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, verses 23 and 24. If therefore you are presenting your offering at the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your offering there before the altar, and go your way, First be reconciled to your brother and then come and present your offering.